Here we go. Now, when engineering this bed, I told you I was going to smash each system. Well, instead of smashing each system, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to promote each system. While pointing out flaws, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sell you a console. And the reason I chose to go this route is simply because this is a true story. This happened to me about two weeks ago. I sold the guy a Wii. Now, anybody that knows me or watches my channel is going to know that the Wii is my least favorite system. As a matter of fact, the Wii is totally and utterly useless to me. It's a useless device. I bought it for the wife and the kids. Have I played some games on it? One or two. But all in all, the Wii is useless. It's useless to me. Now, a lot of the stuff in this video is going to be opinion-based. My opinion. Read the headline on my page. Reddit M for Mature. I ain't into no kitty games, no family games. I ain't into none of that shit. I'm a mature-rated gamer. But as a mature-rated gamer, I'm going to try to sell you a Wii or a 360 or a PS3. I'm going to show you here today that I ain't no fanboy vending system. I can give a fuck less what system you play. Question is, what do you like? What do you like to play? Guy came up to me about two weeks ago and said, Hey man, I hear you play video games. This is at work. I was like, what? Who told you that fucking bullshit ass lie? And he went on to tell me, I was like, oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, because I don't. I don't really like to advertise that I play video games. But uh, he's like, oh shit, damn man, I, I, uh, I had some questions for you. I was like, you know, I can't resist at this point. I'm like, well, you know, I know a little bit. What kind of questions you got? And at this point, I'm already, I'm already, uh, I've already given myself away. So he's like, no, I, I need a console, man. He's like, you know, I've, I've been looking into it and uh, I, I want to get the kids a console. I said, okay, well, how old are your kids? Tells me the age of his kids. He's got some young kids, like uh, four or five. And uh, I said, are you into video games? And he's like, no, not really. I was like, not one bit. You're never going to play this system. Well, I might play it with my kids. Get a Wii. A Wii? What, what, what's that? I was like, it's a Nintendo device. Get a Wii. It's got motion control. got lots of kid games. got Mario Kart with a little steering wheel. And the best part is, it's the cheapest console out there. If you watch Netflix, you can get on it. You can watch Netflix, stream Netflix. Um, that's what you'd be able to use it for. Your kids can play on it. You can get on there. I mean, if you absolutely have to play a shooter, there's a, there's a 007 game for it. There's a game called The Conduit. I didn't... I don't really like The Conduit. I don't, I, I don't like the, the controls on the Wii for a shooter. I just don't like it. But this is what I'm telling him. So what does he do? He buys a Wii. Now he asked me about the other systems. The Wii for me, people, it's, it's hard for me to pick apart the Wii simply because, like I said, I just don't play it enough. I don't know the ins and outs. I've never gone online with this system. Like I said, this system to me is useless. It's a dead system in there. It's for the kids. That's what it is. If you're a grown-ass man and you play the Wii, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I guess because you play games as a little kid. Useless device. No HD. Um, I don't even know if you can chat on the damn thing. I don't even know if there's headsets for it. It's, it's just, it's, it's a family-friendly device. Xbox 360. Now, I told, him, I told him about all the consoles. I said, now, Xbox 360, if you, if you want to get into gaming yourself, you know, while getting the kids something, you could choose an Xbox 360. Now, the Xbox 360 doesn't have as many games as the PS3 does as far as variety games, games that your kids can play. At least I'm not sure it does. This is what I told them. Um, from everything I know about the consoles, I think the PS3 is more diversified. But I said the Xbox 360 is an excellent choice if you're looking to get into the mainstream games like Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Granted, you're not willing to pay the price for a PC. If you're looking to get a PC, you know, but that's, that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the Xbox 360. I'm getting off point here. Um, the Xbox 360 has streamlined online. They've made it just so user-friendly. They've made it absolutely 100% user-friendly, and the interface is just flawless, as far as I'm concerned. Are there advertisements? Yes, there are, but gives the fuck about advertisements, people. Click. Click. Click off the damn thing. But uh, games like Call of Duty, you got features like cross-game chat, voice messaging. I mean, it's just it's a lot more fluent experience online if you went with the Xbox 360. 
He's like, eh, I'm not really into the Xbox 360. Uh, how's the media on it? I said, well, you can download movies. They got a store. You can you can rent movies. You can uh, you can stream music. But granted, if you pay for music videos, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay for them. Uh, you can stream Netflix in HD. If you got an HD TV, you can stream Netflix on it. Um, as far as hardware goes, hardware reliability, there's not near as much of a, of an issue as there used to be. Um, uh, we're talking now, people. Consoles now. Okay, it's 2011. I'm not concerned about when it first started. They all come with a warranty, like GameStop comes with its own warranty, like a three-year warranty if you pay 50 extra dollars. The price point is what's going to hurt you. Here's the problem for Xbox 360 with me. they got Connect. Connect is useless. Connect is 100% useless. Another, another bad point with Xbox 360, you got a severe lack of exclusives. Your multi-plat, a multi-platform game, this is what I'm telling them, a multi-platform game is uh, games that are on all systems. But which system does it better? Nine times out of ten, the Xbox 360 is going to do it better. And it's going to have better online, more fluent online, with a lot more communication features that the PS3 or the Wii doesn't have. Um, at, at this point, the Wii's not even in the conversation. So, uh, I tell them, but the lack of exclusives, like uh, games that are only on that system, and eh, the Xbox 360, the, the library's dying. You got Gears of War and you got Halo. Those are your main franchises. And Halo, I think, is done. There, there's no more Halos coming out. Um, you got a Forza game coming, but, I mean, as far as exclusives go, that's it. And that's the problem with Microsoft, because they're doing nothing but focusing on this trash connect system. Microsoft has a real bad habit of putting products out that don't even work. I was at a friend's house and I used Kinect and what a piece of garbage it is. Now if you want to feel like you're living in the damn future and you want to go Xbox on. Alright, get a fucking Xbox 360 for that. For, get a get a Kinect for that feature. Movie, turn on, or whatever the fuck you do. I mean if if, if that just appeals to you, I mean Click, that, that don't seem like that big of a deal to me. Connect, that's what they're focusing on, man. And it's just, it's, what a stupid fucking device. My opinion, people, I can't stand Connect. I will never partake in Connect. If you're going to get a PC, the Xbox 360 is utterly useless. It's a useless machine outside of the exclusives. I'm going to keep my Xbox 360 for Gears of War 3 alone. That's why I'm going to keep it. PS3. Here's the problem with the PS3. It doesn't have any online. <laughs> uh, relax. Relax, you fucking... I can, I'll, I'll press it. I'll press the dislike button. Get the fuck out of here. I'm playing with you. The PS3 is your exclusive machine. That's where you want to get it. That's where you want to get your exclusives from. Uh, they got games like... Uncharted 2, uh, Killzone 2, Infamous, games like this. Now, a lot of these games are not, should I say, are not perfect games by any means. You know, if I'm saying if you're looking for an exclusive experience that's not on the other consoles, if you play every other multi-platform game and you just have to have more games, the PS3 is definitely the way to go. Especially if you're into single player and you're not really into online. If you're not really into online, Get yourself a PS3. Um, this is what I'm telling the guy. I sat down and had like a 30 minute conversation with him. And this video's got to be like 30 minutes. God damn. But anyways, um, exclusives, single players, it's a Blu-ray device. Like the 360, it also has a PlayStation Store. You can get downloadable content. You can rent videos. You can, uh, you got that, you got that streaming of the music. But as far as online features go, communicating with friends, the PS3 is subpar. It's just bland. They really half ass their online, and that's the biggest problem with the PS3. My PS3, because I have a PC, I'm keeping simply because of the exclusives. Just too many exclusives. And I'm a gamer. I like games. Therefore, I'm not limiting myself to one console. So, there you go. That's it in a nutshell. So, at this point, I basically gave myself away. He, uh... He, he decided to go ahead and go with the Wii. And he told me he's played a few games on the Wii. He's like, yeah, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I, I proceeded to tell him he was gay. But, uh, that's it. That's all I got.
Do you like this video? Do you disagree with this video? Either way, you got to tell yourself, this dude here ain't no fanboy. I go off of my preference. Whatever my preference is, I don't limit myself. I got a gaming PC. This is my console of choice right now. Does the PC have flaws? Uh, very few. Like, for instance, you got to build it yourself. You want it cheap? You want to buy a computer brand new? Be prepared to dish out some fucking cash. If you're willing to build it yourself, get with somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. You can assemble a PC yourself in about 30 minutes. That's Blackbot even said. Solid Red isn't exactly... Solid Red isn't exactly the, uh, the smartest person in the world. Basically, he's calling me stupid. You know, in a lot of ways, when it comes to the computer, I am stupid. Or should I say ignorant? And he's right. It's very easy, though, to do it yourself. Very easy. Get what somebody knows what they're doing. Thankfully, I had Dream 308, Dream 308, Hubmaster Flex, Black Bond, and I Am The Animator are helping me out. Get with these guys on YouTube, man. They know what they're doing. Um, do you got, you run into compatibility issues here and there, you know, but if you stick with it, if you ask questions, if you do what needs to be done, you iron it all out and you get the smoothest gaming experience out there. But like I said, I'm not focusing on the PC. How long is this fucking video? What are you still doing here? Comment! Oh.